Hey everybody, Miss Philly here. We are going to do a haul. Um, okay, so the first couple of things I bought was from Michael Kors. Um, go in here. Um, this is actually to resell, um, so I'm not going to open it because, um, yeah, because I want to keep it packed and wrapped and um, I'm actually going to save this for Christmas or closer to the Christmas holidays. Um, yeah, so we got the tote bag that you saw in the vlog. So we got this bag here and then we got the wallet over here as well. So isn't that oil pretty? I really, I'm kind of contemplating keeping that wallet for myself because it's really, really pretty. It reminds me of the, the Sukayaki, not Murakami, the, the Japanese artist set, Louis Vuitton, not the Murakami one, that um, Louis Vuitton collaborated with a few years ago with the yellow and the blue and the polka dots and things. That wallet reminds me of that, so I kind of want to keep it for myself. The bag was 125 after taxes and the wallet was 50 after taxes. So. I'm hoping to get for the bag about 200, maybe 180, closer to the holidays, and in the wallet, maybe like $80. So at Value Village itself, we actually picked up a few things. Um, the first time I went around, I picked up nothing, and the second time I went back, bam, 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 bam. So it's really, really f funny. You should go multiple times. Um, like, once you go checking, check it again, because that's that seems to be the, the common um, ordeal with me, is I don't see anything the first time around, the second time I find something. The first thing I picked up was this, um, I thought this was a breast cancer symbol. And then, so I was like, oh, I'll just take a look at the bag because it looks like it's leather. And it turns out that it's by Paloma Picasso. And if you know who that is, that is uh, uh, Pablo Picasso's granddaughter or daughter. I can't remember. I think it's granddaughter. Um, she collaborates frequently with Tiffany. And I know that she does make bags as well. It does not come with a crossbody strap but it does have the option to use it if this was $20 a little bit pricey but it is authentic it's um Paloma Picasso made in Italy and it has this uh serial number like right here like authenticity right there and I'm hoping to get at least like probably like 70 to 80 dollars including shipping for this it's a little bit dirty but we'll just clean that all that up it's a really cute bag actually and made in Italy famous name whatever and then I picked up this Danny leather uh, wristlet it's really cute it's in perfect condition I love the gunmetal kind of uh, taupey color perfect condition I love it it has one two three slots it's very like Rebecca Minkoff ish has a first slit pocket here has a Danny leather um, Danny uh, label there has another pocket here nice for organization and separation and then on top that ha this has um, like a card slot there and a zip pocket here. It's a really cute to utilize this as a wristlet or as a wallet. I'm a really big fan of Danye Leather uh, good, uh, small goods. So small leather goods from Danye Leather. These two pieces and I'm loving them. Like I actually don't kind of want to sell them unless I really get a really good price. But these two pieces that I thrifted, I think it was like six and five dollars. Oh, uh, it is like, you know, the pocket on the front, the sturdiness and the durability of the Safiano leather. I, I'm loving these like SLGs from Oh my god, that guy's super cute. From Daniel Leather. Oh, he's so tall and hot. And white. Oh, look at his legs. Ooh. Um, yeah, so I'm really loving those. This one is a softer leather. And of course, wristlet function as well. Very coach-esque, but I love it. Like it's really, it's a really they're real their SLGs are really solid. Some of their bags are too, so yay on this. And this was only like six dollars. Next, this I was kind of like tossed up on, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to pick it up for my Canadian pride, you know. But it is a toiletries bag from Roots, and Roots is a Canadian company. Everything that they do is made in Canada. They don't outsource to China or any shit like that. All made in Canada, 100% leather, and it's just a really good kind of toiletries bag. You know, really solid, good quality. It has this top thing here to put, I guess, your shaver in maybe, and then this bottom compartment here to put all your other toiletries in. And the thing is, the inside is lined with leather as well. There's no like fabric in this whatsoever. It's all 100% leather inside and out. And it has that top handle to carry. And this was only like $5.50. So really good quality. Roots makes really good quality leather stuff. So especially their, their uh, duffel bags, really good quality as well. Um, so yeah, just utilize that toiletries bag. And then the last thing I got, it was just hidden in a little like crevice of the, uh, of the the things where you hang the 
the thing. <laughs> the thing where you hang the thing. I saw this and I was like, oh, I'll just take a look at it. And it was just really just just hiding there. Whatever, just whatever. And it's another Rebecca Minkoff. <laughs> I just saw it. I was like, oh my god, I recognize that little label. It's a Rebecca Minkoff small little crossbody. It looks to be about um, maybe like eight by nine. It has these two zip pockets in the front here. I'm not sure if they're functional. They're not. Oh yeah, they are actually. And they're separate. They don't. They're different pockets. Okay, cool. No wear on this bag whatsoever. Like maybe a little bit of scuffing on the hardware, but nothing major. And then you could either. Oh, it's not. Uh, okay, I see that. Oh, I thought. I thought this was removable. This um, strap, but it's not. But it has these two clips here and this clip here. So I don't know what that's for. Maybe just for decoration, or was there supposed to be another strap? I don't know. But. And inside you have two pockets on one side, one zip pocket and a card pocket on the other side. And yeah, it's really cute little crossbody bag. Yeah, and it's in like really good condition. Like there's almost no wear on this at all. I like it a lot. And this was only $10, so hello. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we got today at this Valley Village. We're gonna head over to the Polo Park location before they close and see what we can find over there. If you find anything, I will show you. If we don't, then I won't. Regardless, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Rain, 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 rain. Oh my God. Crazy. Okay, <laughs> it's all wet. I just want to show you guys what we got from Value Village by my place. Um, I put my bag in here because it's all wet. I don't want it to get wet. Okay, so we picked up three things from this Value Village. I paid fifteen dollars for everything. This mat and that wallet, I've owned this wallet before actually. It was only three bucks. It's in perfect condition, but there's somewhere on the like, there, like stuffing from the, um, the hardware. But other than that, it's in perfect condition. Three bucks for mat and that, you can't go wrong with that. Next we found this Danier leather wallet. This is in a really good condition, like perfect condition, nowhere. Basic wallet with like two zips, which is cool. It was only like $7. One side you have that checkbook or receipts and then card slot id holder and a little slip pocket here on the back you have a slip pocket there and on the other side other zip you have um lots of room for cards a coin section and like different slots so for seven bucks you can't go wrong with that i mean usually they price this shit at like 20 bucks sometimes you know even like ratter ratty even like rattered, tattered ones, they price for 10 bucks sometimes. So for $7, deal. And I love the leather. It's very like Givenchy Antigona leather. And we saw this in the last vlog. I decided to pick it up because I want to buy something with my newfound money that I just stole my Hermes belt. So um, for four bucks, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these antibacterial um, thingies. I know you can get like five for five dollars, I think or five for eight i can't remember but four dollars for seven i think that's kind of a deal so and i'm i'm always like antibacterial frenzied so we got that and that's all we got guys i hope you enjoyed this video because i enjoyed making it for you and i'll see you in the next one guys bye i love you oh and i also wanted to say before i say bye that i do sell all my stuff on my instagram selling page so miss philly selling page on instagram if you don't have instagram then email me and we can talk about things like that. I always mention the price of things that I buy, so please take that into consideration um, when I post, because like for example, um, the Hermes belt, I bought that for $40, shipping is 20, I'm in it for 60, you know? So when you do make an offer, please take that into consideration, my time and my effort of trying to find things, and you're, you know, because because I do need to make a profit when I sell things, and it's, it's just not, you know, sometimes I talk to people and I'll be like, yeah, um, I bought it for 12, shipping is 20, so that's $32. And they're like, okay, I'll pay $32. I'm like, no, that means I don't make any money. So, 
So take that into consideration, please. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll be posting things on my Instagram selling page. Like I said, Miss Philly selling page on Instagram. If you don't um, have Instagram, you can always check it out on your internet browser. Just type in Miss Philly Instagram and it should pop up on Google search. And then you can look at my stuff there. And I do post the prices. They're all in US funds. And also I only ship to Canada and the US and shipping is always usually $20 flat. Unless it's a big bag, then usually it might be $25 to $30. I know it sucks, but that's how it is. So if you do like something, maybe combine items because you can save on shipping. I know a lot of you buy a lot of things. Like you'll buy one thing a few days later, you change your mind and you want something else too. So a lot of items together because then you'll save on shipping. You don't have to keep paying $20 per shipping, you know. Just uh, an idea, not like I'm trying to upsell you guys, or maybe I am. <laughs> but yeah, if you see a couple things that you like, then lot it together, you know? Like if you see a bag or a wallet or a makeup bag, you know, the shipping will still will be 20. It might be a little bit more, might be 22, might be 25, depending on how many items you have. Just, you know, food for thought regarding that. Anyway, guys, I love you. Like this video, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.